I am a lip product person. I have more balms, glosses, oils, stains, and lipsticks than any one person probably should have. I'm not sorry though. And color is one of the main things that I keep experimenting with. You know, I'm determined to find my perfect red, which of course is a really personal thing and one that I've not yet accomplished. And I do get a lot of comments on my videos about the colors that I wear. Some are good and some are bad, which of course is totally fair. But I do have one lip duo that is hands down my favorite color combination. And it's not one that I would have chosen in a million years. Hi guys, welcome back. If you're new to my channel and you enjoy what you're watching, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and also hit the like button. Okay, so this color combination was actually selected by a makeup artist. So while I was on holidays with my family in Florida about a year or so ago, my mom booked all of the girls into getting makeovers with this master Lancome super artist who flies around to do events. So there were 10 of us between the ages of 12 and 75 getting our makeup done. It was so fun. So the finished look was gorgeous, but I think the real star of the show was actually my lips. And there were two products by Lancome that accomplished this. The first is the lip liner. It is called La Lip Liner. It's in the color 254, which is called Ideal. Now it's a lot browner than any other lip liner I've used. And by the way, I'm not much of a user of lip liners until I met this combo. So now I kind of understand the importance and I'm using them more regularly. Next is the lip gloss. This was the real shocker. I saw him bring this out and I went, uh, no, 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 I am not a pink girl. He just kind of giggled at me and said, trust me, trust the process. So this is called Labsolu Gloss. It is in the color 213 Atelier Parisien. Did I mention it's pink? I am totally not a pink girl, but I am very much diving into glosses these days. I'm mad into them because I feel they're just great for my dehydrated lips. Okay, so we're gonna do this now. We're gonna do the technique. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do, I just have a little bit of lip gloss. I don't really have anything else on my lips, but I'm gonna take that off. So Gary's gonna zoom in a little bit more so we can see it. This will be a quick one. Okay, so the first thing is he lined the outermost part of the lip. So he's not doing the whole lip entirely. So he lined the outermost part of the lips, right? Not all of it. Now I'm sure there are loads of you out there watching this video that know all about this technique, but I'm not really a makeup girl, so I don't know all the ins and outs. So he sort of filled it in a little bit, like kind of halfway down. So this inside part here is still left untouched by the lip liner. So you can see the natural color. Now, the other thing is the sides of my lips aren't even. So I was in a car accident in high school. So this side of my lip is much thicker than this side. So I have to line it outside, which is actually great because it kind of evens everything out, which I never did before. So you can see the insides here and here are still my natural color. I'm not great at this, by the way, but you get the gist of it. Okay, and then we're just gonna put the gloss all over. I mean, come on, you guys, this is so incredibly fast. And voila, c'est fini, that's it. And it's funny because I never would have put these two colors together. I mean, pink, forget about it, but you don't really see the pink, right? It just looks like there's a little bit of lightness, which I think, you know, you put highlighters in certain areas. I think that's sort of the goal of some of this. And this is giving it that impression. Now this may not be earth shattering, but I absolutely love it. And it sort of opened up a whole new world of lip products for me. It just ways to experiment and that makes it more fun. So two colors I never in a million years would have worn. And not only that, I'm very much drawn to sort of the bright colors or the colors that have a bit more color because I just feel like it's giving a bit more life into my face. But this is my favorite. This is actually my favorite color combination. What do you think? 
So guys, that is it for today's video. It is short and sweet, and I would love to know what are your favorite lip colors. Please do list that down for me below, because now I want to experiment a bit more. So I'd be very curious to know what am I missing? Based on what you know now, what do you think I should try next? So thank you so much for joining me here today, guys, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye. How much can you see? I'm wondering how much of my fat arms you can see. <laughs> That's really the, the motivation behind the question. Uh-huh. You can see all your fat arms, baby. <gasps> Gary Gleason. You take that back, young man. <laughs>